Good morning again and welcome back to the headquarters of the Grenada Football Association. I did promise that it was a two-part press conference, so now we have with us members of the Jamaica Senior Men's National Team. Um, again, introducing myself, I am Rio Moridi Communications Officer of the GFA, the Grenada Football Association. To my immediate right is Mr. Simon Preston, who is the Press Officer for the Jamaica Football Federation. Uh, to his right, we have Hamer Halverson, who has coached, um, he coached Iceland in the 2018 World Cup. And then to his right, we have Joel Latibaudier, formerly of Manchester City, World Cup winner with the English U17 team. So welcome to you gentlemen, welcome to Grenada. I hope that was a very spicy welcome for you. And um, we look forward to the match tomorrow. So first we hear from Mr. Simon Preston. Thank you very much, Rio, much appreciated. Good morning to everyone here. We really appreciate you being here and we really feel welcome to be here on the Spice Isle. We know it's an island truly blessed with the abundance of talent amongst different sporting disciplines, athletics, cricket, football, and we're really looking forward to tomorrow's encounter. To open, before we open the floor for questions from the media, we're just going to get a few remarks from our head coach, Coach Halgrimson, and also our player, Joel Latipodier. Firstly, Coach, first time being on the island of Grenada, your thoughts so far being here and settling in the Caribbean? First of all, the island is beautiful, absolutely especially for an island person like me, uh, a little bit colder island. Uh, no, it's, it's absolutely beautiful. The hotel we we're staying at, it's very nice. Uh, yeah, and probably the, the, the most pleasing thing is the people. We've been welcomed, uh, treated really well. So, so yeah, big thanks and impressive first days. Hopefully we can we can be impressive tomorrow, but up to now it's, it's Grenada that has been the impressive. And a lot the same for you. First time being on the island of Grenada, your thoughts so far? Yeah, just to, to back up what folks said here, the island is beautiful. Um, the people, the staff, so welcome at the hotel, um, helping us out with everything. So, yeah, just thank you for the warm welcome that we've received. And, uh, yeah, hopefully we'll be on the show tomorrow. All right, now we're going to open the floor for questions from the media. We can you actually may indicate yourself and your organization, and then we will get rolling and also identify who you're asking the question to, whether it's Coach Halverson or to Joel Latibodier. All right. Who would like to commence? Okay, my name is Joel Latibodier. I'm Coach, you say first time you here, and so on. What can we expect? What can we expect from the champion team tomorrow? I mean, I know you're. I've uh, been playing and playing and playing excellent football. What can we expect? What can we do that expect from you tomorrow? What kind of game kind of do you ask? So, so first of all, first of all, uh, we take this game really seriously. So we, we, are, we want to qualify from this group. Uh, we've, we've looked at Grenada a lot, studied them, how they are playing. Uh, and we are prepared as well as we possibly can. Uh, and we are going for the win. We are going for the win. We, are, we have full focus on the task of the opponent. Uh, and hopefully we can show a full performance tomorrow. That is kind of our, our mental approach to it. It is not like... Uh, different from any other games. Full focus on, we only focus on this game, <coughs> not the next game, not so it's we are taking it really seriously. We need the three points. We are gonna do everything to get the three points. Yeah, some interest, some interesting. Um would be okay would be correct to say that you are full strength um, or the other players that you are hoping to have on board and not yet not yet. Would you say that you are at full strength when you get it to come? We have some ups and T's, ups and T's. Yeah. Uh, injuries uh, and, and so on. So, so of course, well, players we have this full strength. We will go full strength, of course. But we're not going to announce the team now. It's for tomorrow. Any follow-up 
follow up for your last photo? How about that? Misha Kudos, GPN Television Coach. Um, look at the previous games and then you can see that your midfield has been lacking a lot. What is that you've been doing so far to see the enhance that we're playing yeah, we, we are always working on our tactics. Sometimes we go through the midfield, sometimes we go through the flanks, sometimes we go direct. We're trying to improve in that uh, how we play against Grenada. Is, we're going to see that tomorrow. We want to play in Germania, but we're always working, we're always looking, we're always trying to help the players to improve. We're always trying to improve our tactics. So nothing more on that one, but uh, you of course need time to fix some things. And unfortunately for national team coaches, we don't have many days with the players. Okay, um, you look at the stats for the team I'm receiving. Matthew, it's the training team at this one, it's a very had stars that didn't have any homegrown players on that team. Is there any particular reason for such? Your team, look at your squad for the for the match. Yeah. You see that they brought in a lot of over them, a lot of players, yeah. like foreign based players on the squad only probably one Jamaican, like yeah. with one Jamaican Jamaican player. So the team. A player that is still playing in Jamaica. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have players playing at a higher level. Yeah. So, yeah, it, it, it kind of goes without saying if you want to know the strongest players, you know, you're looking for the strongest league and how they are performing there. So, we are we are blessed with players playing at a really high league. If a player is good in Jamaica, normally he would be sold to another in a better league. So, that is the pool that our national team coach is looking at. But we have really talented young players. And we are, you must understand as well that many of the players played abroad or born and raised in Jamaica. So it's, it's but the league in Jamaica is improving. We have a lot of promising players, but we're trying to build a platform for them, like, you know, 20 team on going on to come to 20 team. So we're trying to build a platform for those players with the talent so we can help them grow even more. Any other questions? The role and and really and and you know are they are they key on them now or they are still in the squad? Yeah, in the squad. Are they on island? That's what it is. Yeah. Oh. Any questions for Joel Latakodir as well, who's here with us? Um, question. Um, how has the journey been like thus far for you? Um. Being young in the sport and uh, I mean playing with Chelsea, it's a it's a big thing. So, how has the experience been like for you thus far? Um, my whole footballing journey, I've, I've been blessed to play with great teams. Um, so it's, it's been really good from young, working my way up through. Um, now, obviously, playing here um, in Jamaica, it was my first camp uh, goal call. So someone just gone. And uh, yeah, watching the team grow, watching us grow as a, as a unit, has uh, yeah, it's been really good. So it's just exciting moving forward, and uh, yeah, I'm sure I'll create many more memories with this squad and with other squads uh, in the future of my career. And coach, um, the big question for many of the coaches within the Caribbean is the selection of foreign-based foreign-based players to play on the team rather than your local base players. Do you feel justified in, in the squads that you have selected thus far? Since you've, you have become head coach. Just,
players in the national team should be the best player this country can represent. Okay. Um, Jamaica is yet to secure a victory away from home. Do you believe this could be good for you or? In the group? In the, within this, you know, some of the conditions. It's a first away game, so hopefully we can potentially win. There was a game for our home, so not sure if we could have teased them away victory, but yeah, yeah I, I hope, I wish, and, and we are doing everything to change the rest of the game. You have to start with it. What would you say uh, the, the, the biggest challenge, uh, looking at what you saw on videos and, and other, you know, what, what, what would you say the biggest challenge would be tomorrow? So I guess, uh, and, and the game against Suriname, they play against Suriname, is a, a really well set of games, tactically well played from Grenada. Uh, I think the second half was impressive from them, from their play half. So I guess that is kind of what they are trying to build and look at and improve from that game. Uh, so difficult to break down for sure. I can, I can see the coaches working on defensive shape, defensive compactness, etc. The pitch is narrow, so it's even more compact for tomorrow. So that, that will be that will be our challenge to break them down because they are they are they, they are going to be defensively compact and then not to be hurt on the kind of attack because they are they're quite lethal in kind of attacks. Of course, my final question to you: Looking back at your last game against Haiti in Jamaica. Two goals scored against you in the first 20 minutes of play. Um, have you had enough time to work out what you think went wrong in that game? Yeah. You have a leading up question. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's <laughs>